Hey guys, my name is Cameron Penner, and welcome to a great new Game Maker tutorial. I'm going to be making a video series on artificial intelligence. A lot of people have been asking about it, and since it's kind of a huge thing uh, that has lots of little details, I'm going to be showing lots of bits and pieces of all the background stuff, and hopefully at the end you'll be able to take all these ideas that I've showed you and put them together into a game and you'll be able to have a great thinking bad guy. Hopefully at the end of the tutorials I'll be able to show you an example of what it looks like to have all of the things put together in one big bad guy. Now I'm going to be doing some top-down artificial intelligence and I'm going to be doing also some platform stuff in the future. So today I'm going to be starting off showing you just the top-down stuff and I hope you'll learn a bunch. Today I am going to show you simple triggers and movement. I have three sprites. I have the sprite of the bad guy, I have a sprite of the wall, and I have a sprite of the guy. Now first I'm just going to get the guy quickly moving. This should be quite simple. Add event, create, control, set variable, image, speed to zero, and this is our animation by the way in case you're wondering. Just whipped it together quick for this tutorial. And I'm going to add an event, keyboard, left we're going to set the horizontal speed to negative six and I'm just going to duplicate that and turn that to keyboard right just set that to six I'm also going to add the up and down events are pretty much going to be the same thing except vertical speed quickly whip this in here that should be the basics now we're going to go to the step event this is this is just simple movement um, I have other tutorials for how to do movement and stuff, and this should this should be uh, pretty self-explanatory, I hope. Seeing as these are going to be getting a little bit more advanced than my other stuff. We're going to set the variable image underscore angle, and this, by the way, is a pro feature. This you won't be able to do if you haven't bought GameMaker. We're going to set image angle to direction, and we're going to if variable... Uh, speed is larger than zero then we're gonna do that we're gonna set image angle to direction and we're going to set image underscore speed to point three else so if the speed is not larger than zero so if he's not moving we're going to set image index to zero which is just the uh, him standing like that and we are going to set image speed to zero we are going to add a few more things key release left we're gonna set the horizontal speed to zero we can duplicate that for a key release right sorry I'm going quick here I'm just whipping through this because this is not what the tutorial is about um, anyways the release events just pretty much stop the motion. So this is going to be our simple little guy. And I, have, I have this stuff all in here already from before, but put our guy in the room. Just make sure this works, and then we can get to some more good stuff. All right, looks good to me. So now we got a guy moving. Now we want our bad guy. If we just put the bad guy in, and so far these objects are all blank, uh, he just kind of stands there. Right now he's spazzing because he's animated. <laughs> but what we're going to do is for our bad guy, this is going to be very simple movement. And and we, we're going to get more advanced yet, but we're going to say step. Step in the direction of avoiding solids speed say three in the direction of object guy dot x and for y we're going to do object guy dot y now we don't need to click relative but what it'll do is now it will step towards my guy and he will avoid um, solid things the wall is so far the only solid object I've put in and so now when we have this bad guy in the game and I'm going to quickly go here 
and say set variable image speed 2.2 that'll just look better so now what we have is our bad guy is gonna follow us but the cool thing about um, stepping towards a point avoiding stuff is when we go like this and we put little walls in he will should go around the walls and I don't I don't have collisions with my guy yet of course but but the bad guy now will go around the walls instead of instead of just smashing into us and I have missed something here we gotta duplicate that for Kirli's down ta-da now we're just gonna quickly add in collisions with walls set the speed to zero and now we have a simple bad guy chasing you now this is just the start um, I'm, I'm gonna be putting out more more and more uh, tutorials on this hopefully and feel free to subscribe so that you're notified when the tutorials do come out if you're interested and if you're not then thanks for watching I hope you learned a bunch and if you didn't keep watching because you will learn more in the future my name's Cameron Penner I'll see you next time.